I didn't see that coming. Hello, YouTube. Well, I was doing some thinking the other day. I ran across uh, these ice bucket coolers. Do-it-yourself coolers that uh, can cool a room for pennies a day, save you all kinds of money, and like most things, it, it doesn't. It sounds too good to be true. And if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. But I looked into it. The idea is you take a five-gallon bucket, you line it with a, a foam liner or a minnow bucket, you put a gallon jug of frozen water in there, and a fan on top that circulates air through the bucket and provides cool air coming out of the sides, about 40 degree air. Um, and Sure, it works. You, you get a nice cool breeze out of it. But is it efficient? Is it, are you able to save a lot of money cooling your room this way? Well, I did the math. Did some thinking. And the answer is, no, not really. So it all comes down to energy usage. And you have to figure energy usage. So we use the British thermal unit, or BTU, to measure heat transfer, energy in transferring heat. One BTU is the energy required to raise or lower the temperature of one pound of water by one degree. A gallon of water is approximately eight pounds of water. So assuming the frozen water is around 28 degrees to start with, which is the average temperature of a domestic uh, freezer in your refrigerator, it's going to raise to around 40 degrees before your cooling effect is going to be diminished and, and rapidly fall off. So that's, uh, that's, let's say, 12 degrees of rise over the working temperature range of the bucket cooler. Um, 12 degrees of rise in one gallon of water is a transfer of 96 BTUs of energy. The uh, bucket cooler will last about four hours before the cooling drops off, before you reach that 40 degree mark. So that's 96 BTUs of energy over four hours. So the bucket cooler is actually providing you with about 24 BTUs per hour of cooling capacity. By comparison, a window air conditioner, well, they're rated from a low of about 5,000 to a high of about 14,000 BTUs per hour. So what, how does this work out in energy expense? Well, you've got to freeze the water initially. Most people would do this in their home refrigerator. A modern fridge will use around 180 watts per hour of electricity. That's the power that's used to maintain the cold temperature already inside the box. But if you put a room temperature gallon of water in there, the fridge is going to have to work about twice as hard to remove that additional heat and get the temperature back down. So it'll, it'll cycle about twice as often. So you're going to use about 360 watts per hour to freeze that gallon of water that's going to provide you with 24 BTUs per hour of cooling in your bucket. The smaller sized window air conditioner is going to use around 500 watts per hour to provide 5,000 BTUs of cooling. Big difference. Let's interpolate that down to match the 24 BTUs per hour we're getting out of the bucket heater. And what you end up with is the window air conditioner is only going to use 2.4 watts per hour to provide the same cooling capacity as the bucket cooler. So that's 2.4 watts per hour energy expense for a window air conditioner, a small window air conditioner, versus about 360 watts per hour use um, from your refrigerator to freeze that ice that you're freeze that gallon of water that you're going to use to cool in the bucket cooler. 360 watts versus 2.4 watts per hour for a window air conditioner. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper to use a window air conditioner. And there's one final rub. In the bucket cooler, you're freezing that ice in your refrigerator. How does a refrigerator work? It moves heat from inside the box to outside the box. It takes the heat from that water and moves it out into your room or into your house. Then you put that ice in the bucket, and you move that heat back into the water that you then put in your refrigerator and move back into the room. So all you're doing is ping-ponging heat from inside the freezer to outside the freezer to inside the freezer to outside the freezer. You're not getting rid of it. A window air conditioner is going to move that heat 
from inside your house to outside your house. So a lot cheaper and a lot more efficient just using a window air conditioner. The ice bucket cooler is cute. It provides you a nice localized breeze. You could set it on a table next to your couch and get a nice cool breeze, you know, so it's better than a fan. But it's not cheaper and it's not going to save you a bunch of money. There you go. Thanks for watching.